10 zero blast off i've always wanted to officially do that <laughs> well you want to go to to do a rocket launch yeah wouldn't that be wouldn't that be cool i mean you could say like i've met this person and i've met that person i've done this and that but how many people do you know can say i was the guy that did the t minus 10 seconds countdown for the rocket ship uh, <laughs> right. hello everybody welcome to broadcasting to your community and um no, Stephen and I did not break up. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again, my friend. It's good to see you as well. I mean, circumstances over the last couple of weeks, and uh, we've both been busy uh, behind the scenes. And here we are, back together again. And all is well. And I say hello to two people. I'm going to say that one of them is, I'm going to guess here, take a flyer. One of them's Corinda. Yeah. Okay, three of them are Corinda. We've only got two people watching. <laughs> Hello, Corinda. Uh, Hello, no, Corinda. Okay, and I want to congratulate Corinda. Uh, he has, over the last two weeks, started producing shows for other people. Oh, wow. So he's on uh, StreamYard, and he has a lady who's front of camera, and she can just concentrating on... She is... A bundle of energy, and she has a great presence on camera. But behind her, in the control room, is Corinda, and he's done a fantastic job of actually showing her off to her best, bringing the uh, comments on screen, bringing the text on screen, and it's just been such a smooth operation. So, awesome. Well done, my friend. Congratulations, Corinda. You know, let's talk about that producing thing. I know we've got a few things you want to share here, but. Um, that's really something that uh, we haven't talked a lot about with as far as, as, as BeLive and, 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 and other software platforms. I know you do uh, some producing for a couple ladies, and you had me uh, do one a couple of weeks ago. And I've never really done that for anybody else um, in, in that setting. And I had a lot of fun doing it. I really enjoyed it. Well, there's no pressure, is there? No. You listen to the conversation, you you, orca you orchestrate the whole broadcast, but you don't have the pressure of appearing on camera at the same time. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, you're watching the comments and twitching cameras and all range of things. Um, and by producing the show, you don't have that burden. Well, not burden. We actually enjoy what we do. Uh, but you don't have the extra pressure of actually appearing on camera at the same time and making it look effortless. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm chuffed. As, I'll just send you a message which will show you why I'm chuffed. One of the beauties of uh, the whole of this is meeting people and getting to know people. And I always feel that you've arrived as a mem when you're a member of a team. And it's a team of people who produce the show uh, on Wednesdays. And it's just such a blast to do, as you said, David. Yeah. And uh, they're just in Messenger. You'll be able to see just now a cartoon. Uh, which sort of expresses uh, basically how close – oh, wait a minute, you all want to press send. Um, you'll see a cartoon which I just received about an hour ago, <laughs> um, and that's from the ladies. It's from Dolly and Anita, um, and I just – I mean, it's, it's, it's so like me, it's not true. I mean, whoever <laughs> drew that picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm working on. Uh, okay, I gotta yeah. show this. I gotta show this. <laughs> <laughs> it's and like you're put, Stephen, you're putting yourself out there, and I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's, it's, wow! It's, yeah, it's it's it's. I'm I'm chuffed with that photo <laughs> because <laughs> you're what chuffed. It's chuffed. English there... English phrase meaning happy. Um, oh, okay. Right. The co-hosts of the show are Dolly and Anita, and Debbie's joining them to uh, be a hostess and look after guests before, during, and after the show. Okay. And that's me on the end. I'm, I just sort of pull the whole thing together. Um, <laughs> uh, happiness is working with great people. I echo that sentiment back today and all the shows that we do uh, individually and collectively. There you are. Well, Dolly and Anita uh a lot of fun great energy 
and uh, I had I had good conversation after the fact with them, and actually I enjoyed them so much that I actually offered to. Uh, they were talking about doing some marketing and stuff, and I and I and I offered to help them out with that. So I told them they had to, you know, get their heads together and figure what they what direction they want to go. But yeah. I'm happy to work with them again. And that was and thank you for that because that was uh, a you know a collaboration of uh, hey David I, can you, can you fill in please and. Then I did, and then I got to know them, and that's that's uh, uh, one of the great things about live streaming is you you, you never know who you're going to end up with, and um, one of the things I teach is it's not always who you, it's not who you know that's going to get you to the next step. It's who you don't know. Indeed, and it's who the people you know know. Yeah, that's right. That's the yeah the power of networking. And uh, everybody out here, we, we got our own little community going here because, you know, Kelly's here, Corinder's here, uh, Dom has showed up saying, hello, Dom. Haven't talked to you in a while, Dom. I've been I've been out of town live streaming, so I've been busy. But uh, it's great to see our own little uh, community coming together here as well. And But the producing side of things really is a lot of fun. And I, I wish I had... Um, well, I wish you were in a different time zone. Let me put it that way, my friend. Because <laughs> when I do my life. show today at three thirty, I would just I would adore having you look after my show. <laughs> but I know you're sleeping time to. by then. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll have to change the time of the show. <laughs> maybe we'll do it at nine a.m. on Mondays. I don't know. All right. Okay. Um. But uh, yeah, I, I, because my my show's gotten so much busier now, right? And yep. um, there is a lot going on, and I do find even sometimes when I put it in the agenda, etc., I get going, and then after the show, I go, "Oh crap! I didn't show that picture. I didn't show that yep. lower third. And I, ah, uh, yeah. I mean, everything's still fine, but all those features that Be Live offers is uh, uh, it really enhances things. So. Careful well, that's, that's one of the things as a producer. You, you can think about the show on the day of the show. You can get all your photographs together, and you know you've got to show them at certain times, but you're not yeah. distracted. You, you're not talking to somebody. You're actually all, The only job you have to do is to make sure the show runs smoothly. Yeah. And uh, we're on a run of six at the moment where everything. Um, so long may that continue. Yeah, yeah. Because occasionally... Um, you'll get tech issues yeah that's right and then i don't have to worry about it <laughs> um that's true and and one of those things is is sometimes uh maybe a guest hasn't shown up like on mine i have three 15 minute slots yeah so it's very timed you know and and if if, if you're coming to five to four and you don't see the four o'clock guest you start to panic <laughs> <laughs> you start going, did they figure this yeah, thing out? Yeah, Have they yeah. communicated it, with me? Is this going to work? Yeah, and it's, I a lot e in. it's a lot easier when you can type um, Kelly's in the lobby. That'll be the day, but that would be good. If I could type on your <laughs> right. show, Kelly's in the Bad lobby. Bad example. <laughs> 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 Kelly's. Kelly's in the lobby. He's in the, in the sub, sub, sub lobby where we can't see him. Right. <laughs> One of these days, Kelly. Um, Corinder's got sort of a comment out here. Let's take a look at this. Talking about broadcasting to your community. Oh, where to go? I want to ask you, you know, like Sky Sport and Sky News and all TV channels, what camera and microphone do they use for their TV and internet? How do they put their contents on TV and internet together? Well, uh, I, I, I can't say that I know, I mean, I don't know what microphones they're using. I mean, yeah. there's so many different choices, right? Um, and, and the way yeah. that, uh, go ahead. Yeah. You, you take on this one, Stephen. I mean, that's, that's, that's a question really for Jeff Adams or somebody who's actually in that area. Yeah. And, uh, the gentleman over at Wirecast, um, uh, whose name escapes me for the moment, who Corinda knows, uh, is, is probably the best person to, uh, to ask that question of. I think in terms of what we actually see on screen, there's very little difference. I mean, we're seeing high quality video, which is soon to go up to 1080p, fingers crossed. Uh, we've got high quality sound. We've got a 
darn good producer on the show today. And so the end, res end result is darn good. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't think that we need to up our game um, in terms of being able to compete. It's because we're competing on t because it's it's live. We're actually talking to you, which is something TV can't do. Right. TV cannot feature. Well, most TV shows cannot feature your comments on screen as you make them. Um, so there to Ed. I think, yeah, and I think the way to say that really is TV doesn't, TV chooses to not take that direction. They probably could do it. I mean, they do it with, you know, phone in or whatever, but yeah. the engagement's not the same. Right. And um, uh, it, it, we were we were talking over the weekend, uh, well, Kevin Jack and I, you know, Kevin from yep. WeStream. Yep. And one of the, one of the things, uh, we were talking about the difference between television and 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 live streaming right or webcasting whatever you want to call it and we were talking about how uh sometimes when a when an internet personality gets to be on a television show it's almost like an acknowledgement that you're doing well i mean there's still there's still that place of of being on television and it, it television still has its place um but live streaming's catching up, right? I mean, if somebody oh, yeah. reached out to me, like if, if George Stropanopoulos or somebody like that said, hey, will you come and be a guest on our show? Absolutely. I'd be like, hey, this is awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't necessarily need it to to be uh, affirmed or confirmed that uh, I'm, I'm being successful at what I'm doing. Yeah. I already feel successful uh, at what I'm doing because well, I'm, I, I'm just yeah. doing it. Yeah. Go back, say, 10 years. You used to watch television because television was all there was. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a choice between live video shows where you can actually interact and television. And I find now that I'm watching more uh, live video shows than I'm watching television. Yeah, yeah I, I, I agree with you. Um, Jason, my son, is um, a really good example of that. When, when sometimes we go out of town and, and join our friends at WeStream, we stay in a hotel. Uh -huh. and i don't have cable television we don't have cable television here at the home uh, so when we do go to a hotel room for me yeah i get to watch cable television and i go oh, this is kind of a nice treat i get to watch that television show or whatever yeah. i say to jason i say here's the remote watch whatever you want and you know what he says no i'm good he's got this this he's got his television right here and he's got his head down, and he's watching his live videos or recorded. He's he's watching his television. Yeah. So I hear what you're yep. saying. I hear what you're saying. Indeed, indeed. In fact, I was watching uh, Annie Mora uh, replay today. He's on. Just just shout out to Annie and to the guys uh, over at Streamyard because they interviewed him last night. And Annie's got some new features coming out. Um, on repurpose.io and it's going to blow everybody because what we've always wanted to do is to take a recorded video and to take clips out of it without any hassle ah. David that's going to be a part of repurpose.io nice so nice. you could say right I, I watched the video just to show I watched it you can say start there finish there create a clip that's the subtitle for the clip. Uh, and if it's got um, captions, then you can include the captions as well. Um, so all that's coming in the next couple of weeks from Annie, who's been very busy at repurpose.io. Uh, very good. Yeah. So we're looking yeah, I love to my that. repurpose. Well, I, since I started uh, Live Video Hub Radio, which is podcast, which you're a part of, thank you, um, I made even greater use of repurpose because I can now go to the live video hub and I can take the MP3 from your broadcast on live video hub, yeah. which makes life simple and straightforward. So I can sit there on a Saturday morning, as we all do, uh, before you go shopping, and I can go down, repurpose.io, I'm going to have that MP3, that MP3, and I can go through the list and pick them all. And uh, when we come back from shopping, they're all ready to put on the radio station. So. Yeah, works. Fantastic. Uh, Corinder's asking, Stephen, mate, are you using a new mic? It is so critical. I'm. Th I think he meant to say crystal clear. It's good. Uh, 
The mic today has been dampened by this jumper. Uh, it, it is today 12 degrees outside. So it's, it had to put the jumper on and the mic, which is a Pell mic, is up against the jumper. So the sound will be slightly different as to when it's against the shirt. It must be dampening it better. There you go. But it's the same microphone. Okay. Yep. Dom it says, uh, I'm, I'm loving live streaming. Dom, you've Dom, Dom keeps... What's that? Yeah, I love. I watched the other. I, I caught the show the other day live. Uh, normally, yeah. I catch on a replay, and uh, it's very informative. And I got to tell you, I, I mean, you already know this, but Dom's a natural on live camera. Yeah, he, he he's really, so good. He really is. He just he's natural flowing. Uh, he's got his own kind of persona going with it, and uh, yeah, Dom, you're doing fantastic, buddy, and. Um, he he's uh well and he's reached out to me a few times can you help me with this and i haven't been able to get over but he's 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 pushed forward on his own and worked through it and oh i don't know i figured out oh how do i you know how do i copy that link to invite yeah. a guest and and uh, that's what you do right you just uh you just play around with it and uh he, yeah he's doing fantastic at that um what else i'm just trying to catch up on the comments here Stephen. Right. Uh, okay I've got a question for everybody because I'm thinking about this seriously. Does anybody use a Chromebook? If you're watching now and you use a Chromebook. Very interesting you bring that up. Ah, you see, you see, it's coincidence. See, now, twice today, so you don't even know that you've done this, but twice just now, <laughs> you you won up to me. I had one that I was going to bring up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was the uh, uh, 1080p on Facebook. Yeah, uh, my understanding is coming. Yes, so uh, I'm excited for that. Um, there's other things I would have liked to seen, but uh, but 1080p that's cool. Uh, finally, and then Chromebook. Now you've just done that again. I was actually over the weekend. I was look. I've been looking at a Chromebook, and do I buy uh -huh. one? And would that work with BeLive.TV? It's very compact and mobile. Indeed. I, th I think it counts as being uh, a unit that could actually be used to host shows from. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, if anybody's using one at the moment, though, uh, oh, Corinda's used Chrome, the Chromebook because this is a piece of hardware. Um, yeah, not, uh, not the Chrome browser, but there's a, there's a, it's like a laptop, Corinda. It's called a Chrome Chromebook. Maybe let me see. You, you keep talking there, and I'll see. Yeah. Okay. Later. We'll get an example of it. I mean, the, the the Chromebooks. You can get a Chromebook now with uh, eight gig of RAM, uh, a solid state drive, and the ability to run anything that Google do. Um, and I just think it would be superb because, for from the point of view, I should be able to broadcast anywhere, anywhere you've got a Wi-Fi signal. If you can start a show from a Chromebook. That would be ideal if it counts as a desktop sort of thing. Yeah, and I I, I think it would. Um, just trying to find a good example here. Well, because there's, there's like there's a Samsung Chromebook and there's Google Chromebook and there's Asus. All kinds. Yeah, here's yep. a good. Here we go. Yep. I'm on Amazon. That'll work. All right, Kelly's not got one. We can actually start marketing these if it works. We could, yeah, broadcast from anywhere on Be Live TV. Um, All right, so I think I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, here's here's uh, so yeah, here's one. Okay. Right, and it looks like yeah, it's got a webcam built right into it. But you could, yeah, there's an Asus. Yeah. Uh, $419 Canadian. That's uh, 490 pounds in the UK, which isn't far off. Um, but if you, I mean, on the, I mean, that's it. I mean, look at that. I mean, you could watch your Netflix in any hotel room if there's no TV and they've got yeah. Wi Fi. Um, I think it would work uh, fine. I don't see. Yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. That's well, twelve hours battery life, which is you know. 
Well, and and uh, um, of course, I, I have a mobile solution already, but um, there's a, <laughs> it's one of those things again. If I could take this one over here and this one over here and this yeah. one over here, just yeah. put them all together. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. But um, yeah, I was I've been just over the last week and then over the weekend, I've been googling and searching and yeah. thinking about Curtis Chromebook, you know, especially with. The next version of Be Live oh. Studio Two. Be Live Studio Two. You were the first to say it live on air. <laughs> because you, you are. You are. Oh, the I first. like being first. Yeah, you are the first to say it live on air. Be Live Studio Two. Uh, Be Live have named the new system, which is due out this month, as Be Live Studio Two. Yeah. Very excited for this, um, and this this what's coming is a uh, um, not only some great features that we've all been looking for and waiting for, but it's a really good example um, that, that explains how the Be Live developers listen to the community. Oh yeah, truly, yeah. truly, it's, it's built on their experience. And but more importantly, it's on our experience and feedback over the last two and a half years. And it's got some features which are, well, obviously you've got to try it to decide, but I'm impressed uh, by the things that we can, we will be able to do by the end of this month. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it will uh, make it a lot easier to produce high quality broadcasts. Yeah, and um, and and some of the features coming are, are another reason why I would consider a Chromebook for mobility. Yeah, I can just say that. Um, and um, oh, they, it's so hard to not. <laughs> we can't well, tell I, you. I, I, no, we I, can I've tell you a, it's coming. Yeah, I, I, no, I've done a video about it. I mean, they've released a name now. They want people yeah. to know about it, uh, but. <laughs> I've just got a smile from Jane Lane, uh, which is good. <laughs> Her comment was she hasn't even got version one working yet. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Be live studio two, um, but she's smiling anyway. Who, who's that from? Jane Lane. Oh, okay. <laughs> His, uh, a well, one of your fellow uh, country people, and uh, in Canada, and she is been using be live since the beginning and she has a show once a week and she's got a diverted following um oh fantastic i'll have to check her out i think I, i've heard you talk about that before yeah. um i've just never uh yeah it's amazing how many people are using be live i mean we're over nine or have we hit ten thousand in the group yet we're really close no, not yet we're headed that way it now says nine thousand plus um yeah. I think we're heading towards nine three at the moment, uh, which is an incredible number of people. When you consider that of only between fifteen and twenty percent of users will actually join a group, right? Think for a minute. Then it shows how many users there are globally uh, actually using the system. Uh, so, and this this new version, it's going to blow your socks off. We can say that, can't we? Absolutely. Um, because well, it's sorry, David. No, I was going to say, do you want to do you want to talk about the video you did? Or the, share share what you can about it. Right, I I have had to. I do, on my profile page, you'll find two videos which give you a view of um, what uh, Belay Studio Two can do. I'm just trying to remember the name. We only heard it earlier today. Belay Studio Two has some features which make it user-friendly, viewer-friendly, and host-friendly. And the first feature is uh, the ability to, that a guest on the show, and this is something we've been asking for for a long time, a guest can screen share. Yes. Now, this is awesome because you can screen share with sound. It can be a Chrome tab. It can be an application on a desktop if you're doing a demonstration. Uh, it can be a whole screen if you want, but guests can do it from their camera, from their side. And basically what it means is that 
the guests can appear on screen, their screen share can appear on screen, and they can talk over the screen share whilst they're doing it. They're in control when they're on the screen. Um, in the past, what we've had to do is to say, right, okay, I'd love you have to be a guest on my show next week. Can you send me some images? And that's as close as we've got. Other than our sharing their, their uh, web page, and it got complicated. Now it's simple and straightforward. The guests are in screen share, and uh, that's going to be a boon for interviews and shows like this as well. Because it means I can show things on screen as well as David can. David will yeah. have the final say, though. Nothing gets on screen unless the producer <laughs> allows it. <laughs> They're taking away my control. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you have even greater power. Yeah, because no, I, I think it's a fantastic feature that uh, uh, will be well utilized. I, I hope people take advantage of that because okay. I, I think we'll see a lot of people uh, using that feature for sure. Yeah. And the second major feature that's often been requested is that we know that not everybody wants to appear on camera. So you can now appear in a broadcast as a guest, voice only, which I think is going to be a game changer because you can bring people on from anywhere and switch the camera off and just go live voice only. You can show a picture of them, but you... You know, it opens up a whole range of possibilities because we've we've both had uh, people who would love to come and join us on the show but want to be voice only, and it caters for that. And it means that, right, okay, I'll give you, that's not the only thing it does. Because a guest can be voice only, we can be voice only too. Yeah. So before, we've only been able to show one image on the screen, full screen, and we've been behind it. Yep. Yeah? Now we can show three images on screen and we can be invisible and we can talk about three images. Yeah. yeah. So it's a game changer from a presentation point of view. So in terms of telling a story, you could have three images on screen and just cycle through them and talk over them. Uh, so voice only is, well, is a great part of Be Live Studio too. Well, and one of the things about voice only, and uh, I think I mentioned this to you a while back, we were sort of discussing something I'm working on where um, I want to be live on Facebook, but I want to be audio only. And I was mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to do it. And now, now I can do that. Um, and one of the reasons that I would take that direction for, for you know, I st well, I can say the, the Sting games. Yeah. While the games are on, I'm not allowed to show any portion of the game in video. Okay. But that yeah. doesn't mean I can't talk about it. Right. So to be able to show, you know, I could show scores of like images yeah. of hockey players and he, this guy got the goal and all that, whatever. Um, but it also takes less bandwidth. Mm. Oh yeah. That's right. True. And that's, that's important because uh, when I'm there um, there's, there's, there's 50 media personnel I'm I'm one of the fifty, right, that are sucking on the bandwidth there. <laughs> Pardon yep. me. Yeah, and I usually it. use I usually use my own because I, that's the only way it works. But to do that for three hours uses a lot of data. So um, this is this is uh, a financial savior as well. <laughs> yeah, truly, truly, it's, it's infinitely more flexible uh, because you can just go off camera, carry on talking. Um, and it's we're going to have fun playing with that. We're going to have real fun. Yeah, Ed's out there, um, and thanks to everybody who's joining us here today. We appreciate you. Uh, we're here for another another half an hour. We're here till about one o'clock Eastern time. Ed says, in version two, can we play a video on the same computer and have the audio and my mic go through be live, Stephen? Yes, uh, you right click on the uh, video, which should be stored on your hard drive. And, uh, well, no, start again. Can we, can we cut that bit? Okay. Open up a <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, oh, open up a Chrome tab, Ed. Drag the video into the Chrome tab. Share your uh, share the tab in your broadcast. Switch the audio on, and you'll be playing the audio from the video. And the other thing is that you can be on camera at the same time and you can be invisible if you want and talk against the uh, 
the video and be toggling this the sound between you and the yeah. video as you're actually doing it with now, no echo with no echo and the other, the other thing the other amazing thing is i i wanted to test this okay and i thought the best way to test it is with a little bit of murder sport so uh two weeks ago was the monaco grand prix now the grand prix cars whizz around the track at over 200 miles an hour and i took a youtube video i didn't download it i just shared my youtube screen on a live broadcast and i all i can say is that by sharing that video directly from youtube to uh Belay studio 2 the cars were still doing 200 miles an hour <laughs> in the recorded show yeah so it was very it, smooth it was re that's the word i was looking for it's very smooth the actual uh playing of a video from youtube or from your hard drive is very very smooth now obviously i've got to be I actually broadcast into a private group. I wasn't going to share a copyrighted YouTube video publicly. So you'll have to take my word for it. But it does, the, the cars were still doing 200 miles an hour around Monaco. Yeah. There was no leg. None at all. And that's, um, and well, and that's, that's good to know because that, that was sort of a frustration uh, from the last version, right? Yep. Um, is that you really had to have a ninja computer to be able to to uh, pull that off. And, uh, well, here's an example. Um, okay. I don't know if I'm the right example, but here you are talking about um, new version. Yeah. When I say the words V2, what I mean, what to, I say mean to say is be live is Studio, live Studio 2. So that I'm actually live uh, on the page. We'll wait for that for a second. Um, and this is my studio, uh, but I'm in the big live studio and broadcasting live to Facebook. Now it may take a few seconds for everything to catch up, um, but this is this is basically one of the things about going live in that you're in total control. Right, so that's that, a, there's that. a bit of an example, and uh, um, there's and yeah, even yeah. I, on my Ninja computer, there's a little bit of lag there, but I, I noticed. Yeah. In the new version, that uh, I, I wouldn't have that problem. No, you, no, you, you wouldn't. I mean, I mean, in order, in to, order to, get that, to get that, what I had, what to, I had do, to do, the whole of the that whole show was broadcast, broadcast from version from version one, and I screen, and I screen shared, shared version, version two. two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence the hence picture quality because my, my PC, PC was, was complaining. complaining. Right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. And I and I've I got an echo. Got an echo. Which will which won't be on won't version. Be on version. Oh, yeah. No, I, oh yeah, I've got to mute that. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, let's get we'll, we'll just get rid of you. Right. Um, and Ed was saying he's got an echo too. We're good now. The echo's yeah. gone. This is live. Yeah, so there's an example. We want you, nobody that the echo's gone, it's been fixed. And uh, I know that was something that uh, I worked with them a little bit quite some time ago. So I know they've been working on that audio issue for some time. Yeah. Uh, my friend Larry Wilcox is saying hello from British Columbia. Hello, Larry. I appreciate hello. you always popping from in. Wiltshire. Hello. There you go. Dom yeah. says you keep freezing. I don't know if he's referring to me or you. Is it one of us or both of us, Dom? Hi. <laughs> it's me going like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like my audio trick, right? Yeah, it is. It is. You didn't. You've not done that for a week or two, so you could probably <laughs> surprise me next week. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. So we, 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 uh, we yeah, can now ahead. say we will both be back here uh, on the seventeenth, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was originally not going to be here, as you know, but uh, that's that's changed. So, boy, a real exciting uh, uh, summer coming up. Um, at least here in Sarnia Lampton and and, uh -huh. uh, and and outside of the city as well with uh, tall ships are, are coming up. We've got the Blue Nose 2 coming here and about eight other tall ships. Um, I'm going to be live throughout all of that. We've got some music festivals. And uh, this week I've got um, some live events at our, our, our local arena for the city of Sarnia. And, um, you yeah, know, that live streaming thing, yeah <laughs> you know that live streaming thing it's working out pretty good uh 
<laughs> I say it like that because I've I've had some people uh, uh, say to me, uh, you know, that live. Oh, the boy's alive. Can you hear the door? Hi, Jason. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's, he's awake. He's it's alive. <laughs> so, um, I've had people say to me not really say to me in a bad way, but they're kind of like, oh, live streaming, whatever, you know. But yeah. uh, they're realizing more and more that that's, that's the television. That's where it's at. Like you said earlier, you know, that's where can we watch it? And I've had, I've had other people say to me, or I've overheard people say, oh, mm -hmm. that's that event over there. Uh, where can we watch that online? Can we watch it online? Yeah. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh -huh. You know, graduation ceremonies. Uh, the Lampton College yeah. here just had their convocation, and they live streamed it. Right. Great news. Not, not every mom and dad can make it, or grandma and grandpa can watch if they're over in the United Kingdom and the you know whatever. Yeah, well, that, that's that's why churches broadcast the services, isn't it? Because not everybody can get to the church service. Yeah, um, I, I broadcast parades here, uh -huh. and I've gone to many of the nursing homes and said because the local cable company doesn't always do it. Yep. Um, you need to plug in a laptop to your community room and get everybody in the community room and let them watch the parade that they don't get to get out and see because they're not able to. Yep. Yep. There's a, a definitely great use of uh, yeah. live video. Okay. Oh, so okay. Uh, nobody's freezing here is what I'm seeing, says Ed. Oh, I think he was talking. Oh, Kelly said he's thinks he was talking about the video of you that I played. So okay. yeah. Oh, okay. Dom said he's now he's saying both. I don't know, Dom. I don't know. But uh, right. yeah, so that's exciting with uh, Be Live Studio Two. Yeah. And uh, by the end of June, right? It is by the end of June. Um, all sorts of things are happening in the background. The techies are working away, listening to everybody who's been testing it. And uh, I, I think over 100 people have been testing it over the last yeah. uh, couple of months. Um, yeah. And we're looking forward to its public release. Oh, Kelly says, I seen a wedding David's live. I think what he, I think what he was referring to is when Jennifer and I got married, uh -huh. uh, we live streamed our wedding. And that was so. Uh, well, it was. Uh, it was so. I didn't have to invite everybody to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you right? say that now. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, they, they, oh, we're at, we had forty people at the wedding ceremony, and thought, well, for all the people we know and everything, we'll live stream it. That's kind of what I do anyway. Yeah. And uh, everybody got to watch, and it's had thousands of people watch it, which is great. Right. Indeed. And I didn't have to invite them. No. to the actual wedding. And honestly, sometimes people appreciate not being invited to a wedding. <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah. oh, I'm going to dress up. I got to get a babysitter. I got to go. For yeah, there you go. Got to get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, it, it turned out um, uh, fantastic. Now, I didn't, I didn't use BeLive that day. I used to, uh, I think it was XSplitter is what uh -huh. we used. Okay. But, uh, you know, on my laptop and we had the camera set up and my buddy Roger looked after it and we had the microphone and it was, it turned out fantastic. And uh, I actually get people asking me, hey, can you live, sh that's like a service that I offer now. So uh, there you go. Talking of which, TBSN. Yes. You're going to change the page around a bit. Yeah, well, as you know, uh, the history of TVSN was originally designed to be a hub uh, for recorded uh, videos. This was sort of before I really, uh, I mean, I've been live streaming for 10 years, but not on the scale that I am now. Um, and to be that hub for local people that maybe wanted to do a show on cameras or whatever. And then when live came along, we did the obvious cross posting like you did with live yeah. video hub. And um, I've never really spent a lot of time marketing my live streaming services yeah. uh, uh, on Facebook. I, I word of mouth. Yeah. And um, then I created the talk show network. Mm -hmm. And I've taken all the shows that were being hubbed on TVSN and shifted them over to the, 
the talk show network. That just makes yeah. more sense, the talk show network. And I'm going to take TVSN and use that as the, the page for marketing professional live streaming solutions. Yeah. So uh, that's what's what's going to happen there. We'll yeah. still be on there. We'll just be going live from the show page and cross posting yeah. over there um, yeah. because this is relevant. Yeah, that's where sh cross posting is fantastic because you can go live on one page and appear on as many of the pages as you like. Uh, right, okay, time for a, British, a bit of British politics, and I've got to bring you up to speed on what's happening. Yes, I was going to ask you about it. You're reading my mind all the time. <laughs> when we last left the story, our parliament was trying to decide uh, on what would you, would you, oh, I'm not going to get too complicated. Our parliament was trying to decide when we we're going to leave the EU. We're still a part of Europe, but we're going to leave the financial part of it, the EU, and uh, we should have left on March 29th. And our Prime Minister, Mrs May, was working hard to try and get a deal she'd agreed with the EU through Parliament. In other words, you've got to get a majority in Parliament to vote for it. Right. Uh, well, she got defeated three times. First time by 200 votes, second time by 300 votes, and third time slightly less, but in other words, she was on a loser. There was no way she was going to get through Parliament. And her good friends in the same party as her said, uh, excuse me, Mrs May, we think you should step down as Prime Minister. So Mrs May is no longer Prime Minister. Well, she's Prime Minister, but she no longer leads the party. And today at 12 p.m. Eastern, as we were coming live, 11 people have decided that they want her job. Oh, wow. So... Uh, Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so it, it's going to be fascinating over the next six weeks when, the, when they decide which of the 11 is going to lead the party, take over her job, and then take us out of the EU. So a mess that we had last time we talked about it, it's got even bigger, if that was possible. And uh, wow. we just sat here. I mean, the, the thing is, for this is peculiar, possibly, to British politics. She resigned as leader of a party, the Conservative Party. So they're voting for a leader, but as soon as they get a new leader, automatically that leader becomes prime minister. And that, yeah, you're you good so far. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm talking, yeah. Which means that who votes for the leader of the, the Conservative Party? Not us. We don't get a say. 120. Oh. 120,000 party members get a say, and they're going to decide who our prime minister is going to be. So everybody's upset at the moment. That's why we don't talk politics in the UK, because it's, well, it's just a car crash. Right. Well, yeah. it's kind of like uh, um, the United States right now. I mean, everybody's running. I'm thinking of running for president. Are you? Well, I mean, I'm Canadian. I don't know. I But... <laughs> Like I'd probably find a way to do. I mean, everybody else is running for president right now. Yeah, yeah. And yep. Uh, so I, you know why not? I might get some media attention or something. Canadian runs for uh, uh, president of the United States. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's brutal. Yeah. Well, it is. I, I, mean, I totally. Um, <laughs> I, I'm so oh. tempted. I've I've been tempted for a long time to. All oh, right. Okay. to get into the political world as a talk show. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, I, I don't know. I have mixed them up. If I were to do it, I would do it in a different direction where I'd try, try it not to be so negative and bashing. Like I would just be, let's have a conversation. About the but, topics. Yeah. Sorry? About the topics, not the people. Right. Yeah. Um, and that was, um, uh, well, I, I, when we had our municipal election here last year, I did a, a, a talk show, uh, and I had a, a, uh, a city councilor who was not running again on and had some local people, um, that had, you know, strong thoughts on it. Uh, but we didn't talk about, we didn't mention anybody's name. We didn't talk about, uh, anybody specifically. We didn't talk about any, hard uh, topics that had already been beaten up by the current. We just talked about the picture and what it should look like. And it was a nice yeah. conversation. And if I could do that, then I'd be okay with that. But um, I don't know. We'll see. 
we'll see. Uh, I have some other options as to adding to a talk show. I'd, I've been looking at doing a late night talk show. Yeah. Um, so I'm just trying to design all of that and what it would look like. And uh, I, I, I'm hoping to have some more exciting news by September. So there you go. But politics is a dangerous minefield. Oh, totally, totally. Uh, Local you, and national. Well, it's like yeah. eggshells, right? But then you look at, I mean, people, you really have to have rhino skin to be involved in that arena. And um, you really have to be in, like, you really need to be intelligent. And you need to know your numbers and what you're talking about. One would hope so. Well, that, that yeah, right. <laughs> Um, ben Shapiro is a really good example. Uh -huh. You know, you know okay. who that is? No, I don't. Yeah. So Ben Shapiro, um, and actually recently Ben Shapiro was interviewed by uh, somebody from the BBC, uh -huh. and he he really gave them a hard time because he felt insulted by the interview, uh, because. Um, well, he's not really well known over in the in the UK, yep. well, United States and Canada. He's a very outspoken political uh, person, and uh, that's what he does. And um, he speaks out on the um, LGBTQ issues mm -hmm. and yep. um, all the all the sensitive, controversial issues. That's that's who that guy is. Um, I like him. He's he he makes a lot of sense. Even the things I don't agree with what he says, I still like him and he makes sense of it. And that's a right. real skill to be able to do. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Um, yeah. We, we, just back to Britain for a moment. This, this is totally incredible because we've known for a little while who was going to be one of the 11 big wanting to become prime minister. People have started writing uh, autobiographies about them. Right. And there's an autobiography which is due to come out shortly, which says that one of the candidates, uh, when he was not an MP, when he was in fact uh, doing a different, totally different job, uh, used to use cocaine yeah, oh. at parties. And not just the once, but several times. And he knew that this book was going to come out. He knew that he was going to be, it was going, the story was going to be told. He knew that the person writing the book had checked the facts and he could not uh, say it wasn't true because it's true. So he had to do a press conference and come out and say that I did cocaine, it was wrong. And, um, you know, I, I realized that it was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. And now I'm a politician, I realize that. The only thing is that whilst he was, uh, whilst he is a politician, he has been very hard on people who've been doing soft drugs. And he's put legislation through, which means that people doing soft drugs were actually punished. And now right. he's saying, I've done coke, cocaine, don't punish me, just make me prime minister. Now that's gone, <laughs> that's gone, that's gone down like a lead balloon. Uh, but uh, what's happened is, of course, that, ah, he's been doing cocaine. I wonder if any more of the 11 have done cocaine. Uh -oh. so, so they've all had to come forward and say, I never did drugs. And yeah, or I'm done soft drugs, or I've done hard drugs. And the, to cap it all, Mrs. May, who they ousted, got rid of, has had to come out today and say she never done drugs at all. Um, so we live in a strange world. We live in a You know, are world. we getting to the point, like we're looking for perfection? Oh yeah, okay. Like the, you can't like, God forbid you made any mistakes in your life. I mean, I know I have. Um, and Me too. It's, isn't that called growing? I mean, it's, I mean, yeah. if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over, well, then you're just stupid. But I mean, if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you're, you know what I mean. But if you're growing as a person, we can all draw. Uh, we have the option to draw a line in the sand and move forward and be different yeah. people and make better choices and. Uh, um, okay, like, so, okay, the guy did cocaine in, what, 30 years ago or something? At a 20 years ago. Party? 20 years okay. ago. 
All right, what a college or yeah. university party? Because that never happens. He was in his thirties. Okay. So, yeah. Um, but I mean, it is basically you cannot stand for public office unless you do have a record which is out. We've we've not brought in the law. Okay. Yeah. Because if there wasn't a statute of limitations, he'd be in jail. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we went through that with our uh, Toronto here, uh, and he's he's passed on now. But to uh, Rob Ford, right, was uh -huh. mayor of Toronto, and he did all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, and now his brother is our. Um, um, oh my God! What do you call him? That's terrible. Okay, what do you, th what do you think? I just want Kelly offered to send Trudeau over to the UK. Yeah. <laughs> um, th thank you, Kelly. I think he's far too sensible to actually uh, join us. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't know the inside stuff. I don't know from your side, uh, but he is perceived, well perceived uh, globally. That's yeah. all I can say. Interesting. Uh, Doug Ford, our premier. Sorry, that's what it just came to me. Doug Ford, our premier of Ontario. And uh, he actually, uh, well, Justin Trudeau, I mean, we got pots legal uh -huh. as long as you buy it from the government. Okay. Yep. We have online stores you can buy it from, pots legal. Yeah. And I find that really interesting. Uh, um, I'll give you a quick example. Okay. So back in the day, day, yeah. um, alcohol was illegal. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Right. I didn't know that. Prohibition, yeah. yeah. In the United States. Yeah. And um, the, the American government spent millions of dollars, even back in that time, millions of dollars, to put a stop to the Al Capones and all the people who were selling it, yeah. buying it from Canada and shipping it over. Yeah. And shortly after they put Al Capone away for tax evasion and many others, Al Capone's the one that stands out the most. Yeah. Um, then they then they legalized it, taxed it, and regulated it. Oh yeah. So now the government had control. Prostitution, certain areas legal, regulated, mm -hmm. taxed. Right. Okay. Um, they put Meyer Lansky and lots of other people who ran numbers and illegal gambling houses away. Then they legalized it, taxed it, and regulated and took control of it. Now they're doing that with marijuana. Who's the mafia? <laughs> <laughs> oh, true, true. It, 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 we've been saying, talking today and saying that there's one law for us and one law for them. And, uh, you know, they hold the whip hand. They can decide to change something from legal to illegal uh, throw of a switch, they can take over and be a monopoly. We can't do anything about it at all. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why um, it saddens me sometimes when I hear uh, some young people uh, say, well, what's the point of voting? doesn't really mean anything. Does a vote mean the same thing as it used to? I don't know. Um, sounds like I got to do a new show. <laughs> it, 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 a, a vote does... It, it does mean something. It's a, it's, I've, we've just been reminded uh, last week that it's 75 years since the uh, landings in 1944 on Omaha Beach and Juneau Beach over in France. And mm -hmm. uh, tens of thousands of soldiers from the US, from Canada, from England, from all the Commonwealth uh, sacrificed well, sacrifice themselves really so that we mm -hmm. could have freedom today. That's right. And basically they fought that so, so that we could vote, so that we'd right. still have a say in what we do on a daily basis. And it was, a, a, the day itself was very moving, watching it uh, on the internet and on TV and getting first-hand accounts from uh, soldiers who are in their 90s, as I say, from Canada, from the US and from the UK, and why they did it and why it was important to them and why it should be important to us. Yeah. Um, we yeah. had uh, actually some from Sarnia. Uh, you're mm -hmm. talking about Normandy, right? Oh, uh, yeah. 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 We had, we had um, some local, uh, we had one of the gentlemen from Sarnia was, I believe he was 90, 91, 92, something mm -hmm. like that. He was yeah. 90 years old anyway. 
uh, and was over there. And uh, and Justin Trudeau, of course, was there, and many other uh, dignitaries. So, um, well, and that's one of the reasons every year I live stream. Coming back to that topic, uh, mm -hmm. the uh, the Senate the Cenotaph ceremonies here right, in right. Sarnia. Um, because it is important. I make my son go um, and to understand, because I think there is a, a bit of a generation that's, as time goes by too, it's, yep. it becomes easier to forget because it was so long ago, Yeah. but uh, we should not forget, right? No, I, we're on this, definitely, we're of the same mind on that. And I think the people who are in our friends, our friends would actually agree uh, with their sentiments. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'll tell you, um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to start a political show. Maybe Kelly would join me for that one. Voice only? What is, I, what's that? Voice only? If you Voice only? I could do that. Yeah, well, we could now, right? Yeah. We could now. There you go, Kelly. No more excuses if you're afraid to show your mug on, on the screen. We don't have to see you. We just need to hear you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, well, very exciting. Um with B Live Studio Two, I still got to get used to saying that. B Live Studio Two. Yeah. Um, they didn't go 2.0. They just said B Live Studio Two. Studio Two. Um, that's a very, very that's exciting time. announcement and exciting for anybody who's uh, already using B Live. But anybody who's thinking about B Live, don't be shy. B Live. And and this release that comes along, it doesn't stop there. I know they're already like thinking further down the road and, and they'll be yeah. adding more features to be live studio two as well. And, uh, well, I mean, be live studio two is a complete rewrite. It's not, it's not the version we're using today tinkered with what they've done is listen to everything that you and I and, and our friends have said over the last two and a half years. And they've sat down with the program and said, right. Okay. Start from scratch. Yeah. Okay. So, just for an example, the agenda is totally different. The way we dis well, the way we are displayed on screen. This is a good note to finish on. At the moment, when uh, David looks at the screen as the producer of the show, he can see both of us on screen and he can see what you're seeing. As a guest for the last two and a half years, I've sat here in my little corner on the guest screen, and I've got a picture which is about. Oh, one inch by two and a half inches, and that's me. And David's got the whole screen. That's yeah, gonna, yeah. That's, that's going to change yeah. because basically, as a guest on any of the shows now, uh, you will see exactly what's going out to Facebook. So if there are four people on screen, you will see four equal uh, rectangles on the screen, and you will see everything happen live, which is a game changer. Yeah. Because bringing people together to actually build on, on equal terms, because there is psychologically, there's a sort of thing that, you know, but we'll all be equal. Come the revolution. I'll be equal. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're still above me. <laughs> um, oh, we're good. Well, Stephen, yeah. it's great to see you again, my friend. I, and uh, I've been thinking about you a lot. So, uh, so I hope you know that. And, um, uh, yeah, it's nice to be back, and we'll be back again uh, next Monday, Monday. Can't trust that day. Um, maybe I'll do a karaoke show. There you go. Um, yeah, it's nice to be back together here on it the screen good. with you. It is good. It is great to be back. Uh, I look and forward to everybody who's watched from Wiltshire in England, thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Back to yeah, David. Kelly, Corinda, everybody. Thank you, Ed, uh, Dom, everybody who's been here. Thanks so much. I really appreciate you. Look uh, forward to be live studio two and look i've lost control i can't oh. well, it's less than three weeks away we can wait yeah that long. wow yeah. i that's less than three weeks is it's my birthday is yeah. um uh canada day i'm going to show my first. ignorance all right thank you for that you saved me you saved me thank you <laughs> <laughs> and um i'm going to be 50. Ooh. oh yeah Big five oh. Oh. Five oh coming. 
Um, and we're going to have a party. Uh, well, we have a party on my birthday every year. It's called Canada Day. But I always work it, right? I, I'll be yeah. live streaming the parade. I'll be live all through the parks. And then I MC yeah. the events. So I don't celebrate on that day. We're actually going to we're gonna be having a 50th birthday party. Uh, Jennifer said, do you want a surprise birthday party? And I said, <laughs> uh, I said, no, I don't, don't do the surprise birthday party. All right. Okay. Yeah. Just have a party. So, but we, we couldn't do it until later in July. So um, that's going to be a private party. It'd be a lot of fun. So yes, Kelly had his birthday last week. Happy birthday, Kelly. I did send him birthday wishes. So yeah, busy summer ahead. And I just can't believe that it's, um, well, in three weeks, it's my birthday, like July. <laughs> How did that happen? It was January a minute ago. Goes goes by so fast. It was uh, 19 years old a minute ago is what it feels like. <laughs> now I have a 19-year-old. He's gonna. Jason's yeah. going to be 19 in August. Right. Oh, boy. All right. That's it, everybody. I'll be live again on the show with David Burroughs at 3.30 this afternoon Eastern with three great guests. You're going to want to check that out, especially you, Kelly. Make sure you come by. Thanks, everybody, and bye for now. Oh, and don't forget to give us 10. Give us 10. Oh, yeah. Give us 10 in the comments below. I wasn't sure if we were still doing that. Give us 10 in the comments below if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you didn't do nothing, just come back Monday and give us another chance. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.